Well, my name is Michael Booker, and I'm an artist primarily working in pen. So my piece, In Due Time, is the name of it. It's a piece about people going on a journey, people traveling. And as they're traveling, they're looking for a better way of life and a better way for them to live that's that getting away from all of the hardships, all of the things that they've been going through. But that place they're trying to get to, that journey they own, is not necessarily just a, a physical place to go to, but more so of a state of mind. And so that journey can be a mental change or a way of thinking to embed themselves and embed the people around them. And so in that idea of using that journey, these are ideas that goes back to the ideas of quilt making as well. For example, during the Underground Railroad, quilts were used to send different messages to the slaves that were traveling during the Underground Railroad. So certain patterns would communicate different messages. And so as they were traveling, they would see a certain quilt and that pattern that quilt would tell them, there's a safe house here you can stop at. Or a different pattern would tell them, you need to find a change of clothes to blend in as you're traveling through here. And so this idea of these people on a journey and hiding those messages in the quilt is something I wanted to use for the work that I made for In Due Time. Before In Due Time, usually the watercolor that I use would usually be like the same color or the same shape of the pen I intend on using on top of it. So In Due Time, for example, in the boy's head on top, you see in his hair, there's these waves in his head done in pen, but underneath that in watercolor, there's like this, this plaid done underneath it. And so just trying to mix up different shapes and colors that I wouldn't normally put together that I did in, in due time. There's also a part where the word faith is written down the side and like using text. And so like the way that I layered the watercolor and pen on top to juxtapose with each other and trying to point to those juxtapositions of like the, where the watercolor is versus where the pen is. Whereas previously I was trying to use them in conjunction to hide the watercolor. And this time I wanted them to be layered to let it show. I think as an artist, we want people to look at our work and recognize our work and get our messages out there. And for it to be on a public platform like this, it's a great experience and a great exposure to, to really facilitate the messages of embetterment and empowerment of ourselves. Using a pen and also like the mark in the pen feels like it's a thread in a quilt. And so as I'm creating this journey, I'm trying to weave together these memories together through different colors, through different shapes and forms, the same way quilts are put together from different sources uh, as well. My grandmother still makes quilts to this day, but growing up, she would make them and hand them to my sister and I, but I didn't really think much of it. It was just a thing that was always around. And then once I moved away to here in Maryland, I started thinking about home a lot more and started to think about the significance of those quilts and what they meant at the time. Uh, and started to dig a little bit deeper in that history of both from my family, but to the broader histories of quilt making uh, as well. And thinking about what quilts really are, you're taking parts of different sources like old work pans from here, old bed sheets from here, and you're taking different parts of that and putting it together to create something new. And in that process, that's commonly seen in hip hop music as well through sampling, taking parts of different songs, recontextualizing them and putting this together to create something new. And so like I've always found that that balance between quilt making and music because of those reasons in terms of how they work. And I take those ideas and use them within my drawings as well. So it all overlaps for me. I have a lot of different playlists and I think what music helps me do, it helps me set a tone or a mood for the work that I'm trying to create. With this journey, as I'm talking about these moments of like despair or isolation, but also on this goal toward happiness or contentment or a utopic paradise, whatever you wanna call it, there's specific nuance feelings that I think that can occur that's hard to put into words for me, but I can, I know how they feel. And so I think music helps to try to describe that feeling. Even if I can't do it verbally, I can try to convert that feeling to a visual language into my drawings. In some of my works, there are like family and friends 
some of them are you know random people I've kind of made up or sourced from reference photos but I think no matter who the figures are in there they're all me in some shape form or fashion because I feel like as I talk about this journey for other people I'm also talking about my own journey as well and so I like to represent those emotions through these figures one because I just don't want to draw myself <laughs> uh, I kind of I find it kind of boring to to put my own face in there but I think about the possibilities of how I connect with others and like those faces I always like to think about like with the human figure and the human body in my work ways to obscure the face somehow whether you're only seeing it from the side or from behind their head is turned away or there's something covering their face uh, or like I like to play with their hair to kind of tell a story within their hair because I feel like our, our faces can deceive us a lot and I think the figures in my work I think they they have something going on within their worlds they're not there for our amusement they're not sitting there looking at us waiting you know waiting on us like they have their own things going on their own struggles and I want them to feel like they're activated and they're they're concerned with their own things and not on display for us but what I want people to really take away from the work is if, if I'm talking about this journey that we're all alone trying to make sure that we stay on our journey and know that, that journey can continue like don't stop we we're all trying to get somewhere and we're all trying to make it to that destination we may not ever make it there but we're always be on that journey trying to get there no matter what and so hopefully we have a goal in mind that can be at the end of that journey and i want people to kind of take away with this sense of pride in themselves or this sense of a, uh, accomplishment and knowing that they can keep going and keep working and get to where they want to be in life.